It should be here in five, four, three, two. Yeah. Oh. On. All aboard the beach boss. Awesome. Yeah. excited about the jellyfish bloom at sundown. And there is no way I am missing the end of summer boardwalk bike race. If anyone else wants to ride, the bus has a few extra beach bikes. Oh, that all sounds so fun. But I'm looking forward to a romantic day with just me and Tom. Boo! Boo all you want, but me and Angela have been planning a romantic beach getaway all summer. And all we need is a beach towel and an entire cooler filled with homemade ice pops. This day is going to be unforgettable. <gasps> hey. You're giving up summer fun so you can make gaga eyes at each other? Look, you'll be begging to hang with us. Whoa! Did the bus oh, just oh. break down? Oh, no. Do we have to walk the rest of the way? I'm wearing flip-flops. Wow. I don't think we're walking anywhere because we're stranded in the middle of the desert. No! This bus is bus tech. Oh, but another oh, bus can come pick us up in 12 hours. 12 hours? Well, sorry, little dude. We must be like the waves and roll with it. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Don't worry, everyone. I, a genius, will get us moving with plenty of time to see those jellyfish. What? <laughs> this might take a while. Oh man. The only thing we can do now is eat the popsicles Tom made and think about what might have been. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. Guys, I see sand and sun. All right, the desert isn't all that different from the beach. Yeah, it's like a beach where the ocean is really, really far away. Exactly. So I say we all have beach fun here. Angela. I believe we still have a date. Good for you. But how am I going to snorkel to a whale? Oh, Ginger, you don't need a whale to have a good time. Uh... Hey, Tom, if you squint, the heat waves on the horizon kind of look like an ocean. This is surprisingly nice. What are you doing? We thought about what you said, Tom, yeah. and you're right. We can have beach day fun even without a beach. That's great, but we're on a date. And it turned into a hangout, which is better than a date. Let's break out those ice pops, baby! No! These are for me and Angela. But we need refreshment. What if we die in this heat? Well, there is bottled water at the bus. Stop being so dramatic. No. <laughs> you win for now. But I won't rest until these ice pops are mine! Something tells me this isn't over. This isn't over! Huh? How did this get here? Uh. Huh? <gasps> People of the bus! We were meant to be having beachy fun on this last day before the fall, but then came the great break. Now we all sit, bored and hot, all except the 
want to be a rapper, but I'm pretty sure I could do rapping. Hello? Huh? You're so distracted. Uh, sorry. I just don't want anyone stealing our ice pops. Yeah, I figured that out. But this date is about us, not the dessert, right? to get you a special end of the summer present. And I saw these beautiful earrings at the mall that reminded me of you, but I wanted to give them to you in a cool way, so I froze them in the ice pops. And I had planned to surprise you with them on a beach day date. Oh, that's so sweet. But wait, Ginger has my earrings now? Yes, I didn't tell you because I wanted you to be surprised. Obviously, that was not smart of me. Well, huh. what are you waiting for? <gasps> Let's get them back. Wait! <laughs> I've got to admit, for a while I was worried we were acting crazy. But now, I see you've got results. <laughs> yeah, good job, Ginger. You really motivated us to be our best selves. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this bus for nothing. Get ready, everyone! I'm coming for ya! Remind you of me? Yeah! 
because you love pizza. And now you get to have pizza on your ears every day. Uh, they're great. Very cheesy. I'm okay, folks. I'm okay. But I don't think that bus is going to drive us to the beach today. How are we going to get home? Hmm. Hey, look at that! It's the first falling leaf of autumn. Uh, bring it on! After summer fun like this, I'm looking forward to school. <laughs> Already. We're not ready to start your surprise, I, I mean, birthday pop ball. You mean my surprise birthday party? Oh, I blew it. Why can't I keep a secret? Well, at least I didn't say anything about the chocolate raspberry cake. Chocolate raspberry cake? It's my favorite. <gasps> ah! Ah! Shouldn't they be here by now? Tom wanted to get you a special new cake at that new bakery across town. The Baked Dessert. They're probably on their way. Huh? <gasps> How in the world did we end up in the Baked Desert? Yeah, that's weird. Um, unrelated question. How many S's are in the word dessert? Oh, great. Now we're gonna miss Angela's party because Tom can't spell? Uh, 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 no, 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 no. We can still make it to the party if we hurry. I'll just reprogram the GPSS to get us to the diner. You know, diner only has one end, right? Nah, I better look that up. No! Save your energy, Tom. In the desert, no one can hear you scream. No one can hear you scream. Yeah, well, that's because there's a lot of space in the desert. Okay, okay, let's not panic. Now, my Scout Boy survival training will get us out of here. Any good Scout Boy knows moss always grows on the south side of a tree. So all we have to do is find a tree. Which might be harder than I thought. <gasps> Hold on for a second. I found something! No, Ginger, wasting time at some roadside tourist trap is not going to get us any closer to Angela. Well, I don't know if this is helpful, but I found a side with an arrow on it pointing to where the town is. Good job, Hank. See? Now we'll just follow this arrow, and we'll be at Angela's party in no time. Come on. Ginger, let's go. No, quit. Write any new songs? Nah, I've been feeling kind of blue lately. Hmm. Hey, you know what? Forget those guys. Let's get this party started. Why don't we order some ice cream? No, thanks. I don't like to eat ice cream on an empty stomach. Rasta! Yeah, what do you want? One scoop of strawberry ice cream, please. Strawberry? That's my favorite! Mine too. Make it a double. You got it. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, now I understand why cowboys wear such big hats. Oh. Huh? Oh, you did it, Tom! You saved us! What do you mean, guys? Oh, 
Ooh. Ah, the Cactus Network. Howdy, Hank. Hello there, Mr. Guarded. Well, I guess we should just oh. leave him here, <laughs> right, guys? Don't chinch her. We're not leaving Hank. Hank! Come on, Hank! But we're not home! Huh? That's not the garage! <laughs> it's just a what? mirage! Now let's get back on this trail. We're probably almost there. Come on! <laughs> Angela? Can't be. We just walked in a big circle? Well, Tom, that could only mean one thing. We get to see the world's biggest candy bar! We don't have time for that. Give it up, Tom. We're never gonna make it back to town. Time to start our new lives here in the desert. Just you, me, Hank, and the world's biggest candy bar! He's got a point, Tom. Besides, what else are we gonna do? Fine. Maybe someone there can give us directions to the diner. <laughs> Another bowl, please. Yeah. Honey, I think you've had enough. <laughs> you listen here, Rhonda. It's my birthday, and I'll have as much ice cream as I want. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> It's not so big. See, Ginger, this place is not just a tourist trap. Oh, no, no. It's a closed and abandoned tourist trap. It says here that the whole town shut down when a bigger candy bar was discovered by villagers in the local mountains. This pamphlet is full of fun facts. Did you know they got the candy bar here by putting wheels on the bottom? Too bad the way here is all uphill. Wait a minute! If the way here is uphill? And there are wheels on the candy bar. I think I have an idea. Uh, okay, everyone. When I count to three, let's all jump on. One, two, you got it, you bet. Three! Ginger, give me your hand! Yeah. Tom forgot my birthday. I, I mean, we talked about it yesterday, but I guess sometimes birthdays are hard to remember, right? Angela. Uh, huh? Angela. Uh-huh. Uh. Tom definitely did not forget your birthday. Oh, well, is he invisible? Because I don't see him anywhere. Angela, listen to me. I'll be the first to admit that Tom has his flaws, but he always comes through in the end. Well, yeah, except it's always by doing something crazy and dangerous. That is not true. This is crazy and dangerous. Yeah. 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 Hmm. You know, Hank and Ginger are missing too, but it seems like you mostly care that Tom isn't here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Can I tell you a secret? No, don't tell me. I can't stand the pressure that comes with keeping secrets. Right. <laughs> You're so right. I kind of like Tom. <gasps> I can't believe I said it out loud. Angela, I can't believe it. This is great news. When Tom gets here, let me talk to him what? and tell him. No! He... Don't you dare say anything. Mm. But not a word. It could ruin our friendship. But, but why did you tell me? I don't know. I guess I couldn't stand the pressure of being the only one who knew. So you told me? I just told you I can't keep a secret. I can't handle it. Ah! Ben! Ah! Huh? Ah! Wait! Angela? No! <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Is everyone okay? <laughs> uh, uh, happy birthday, Angela! Surprise! Hey, Tom! <laughs> Is he all right? <laughs> ah, Tom, I have to tell you something about Angela. No, he doesn't. No, you don't, right, Ben? You just wanted more ice cream, right? Here, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I guess Ben can't hold his ice cream, right? Yeah, I guess not. What was he gonna say? Oh, nothing. He was just joking. <laughs> well, happy birthday. I hope you saved room for dessert. Dessert? <laughs> that sounds, uh... Huh? Oh. Huh. And now, taking the lead in the Hot Air to Care Charity Balloon Race from Tom and Ben Enterprises, it's Tom! Woo-hoo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo-hoo! Yeah, Tom! <laughs> I never knew there was such a passion for ballooning in town. The competition is tough, but my balloon improvements <laughs> will ensure that Tom can float his way to victory. How's it going up there? Easy breezy. These other drifters can eat my charitable dust. Especially you, Roy. Hello, fellow aviator. Uh, hey, Ginger. Having fun here in the junior ballooner race? I am not. Putting a balloon on a bike does not make it a balloon race. You gotta get back huh? on the course. Remember, when we race safely, everyone wins. No, that means everyone loses, too. <gasps> Tom, huh? is everything okay? I'm getting some weird readouts here. Ah, uh, nothing. It's just some wind. I mean, it's nothing a soon-to-be winner like myself can't do. Oh. You're off course! Quick, adjust your aerial balloon stabilizer! Uh, what? Uh, I, I I don't see anything like that. Ben, did you forget to install it? I, could, I would never be so careless. Is Tom going to be OK? Don't worry. An ace pilot doesn't need fancy tech stuff to balloon. <gasps> No thanks. I've got this under control. Oh, that doesn't look under control to me. Oh, no. If I had another minute, I could have figured that out. Oh, what now? I can't get the hook out. Your balloon is dragging us down. Oh no, the crash must have busted Tom's radar, so I can't track his location. It says he's in four different countries at once. He must have hit hard to break up into all those pieces. <gasps> I mean, it's probably just a computer mess up. I'm sure he's just fine. <laughs> Tom? Balloon stabilizer's missing. Tom? Balloon. Can you hear Balloon. me? But, Roy. Ah! I'm alive? I'm alive! <laughs> hmm. Oh, we both are. Cool. That's the spirit, buddy. But we're not out of the woods yet. We got pretty off course. Could be a while before anyone finds us. We're just gonna have to walk back to town. Great idea! Do you even know where we are? Don't worry, I can handle this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! to rescue pilots who crashed on desert islands. Oh, man. <gasps> that could have been me. Roy saved my life. Take my hand! <sighs> hey, uh, listen, before we go, there's something that I should say. What's that, Tom? I know things with us aren't great, but... I, I can't hear you. You saved my life, okay? I mean, don't make a big deal out of it, but, you know, 
Thanks. Oh, of course, of course, Tom. You do the same for me, right? Um... And don't worry, I'm not gonna make a big speech or anything at the rescue celebration. Wait, what celebration? Oh, the one they're gonna throw when people find out about this. They're gonna wanna honor me. You know how it is. <laughs> oh, come on! Watch out for the branch, buddy. Ow! Oof! See that guy? You owe your life to him. Every time you breathe, you should think of Roy. I renamed our company Tom and Ben Enterprises, courtesy of Roy. Since Roy saved you, he also saved our relationship. Now, whenever I look at you, I think of Roy. Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Two balloons in the hot air to care race have crashed. But no survivors found yet. Some people wonder if balloons should stick to being party clown supply. I can't connect to Tom's tracker. We need to go higher up to have any chance of getting a signal. But this is the tallest tree. What could be higher than that? Huh. Mmm, num num. It's not stealing if it's an emergency. Come on! Go oh, up! Ah. Adventure. Tom is lost out there in the wilderness. Then you need me. I can track him with my scout skills. There you are. Did you get lost again, little guy? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help you steer your way back. <laughs> Hang on, Tom. We're coming. No. Requesting backup. We got a grand theft balloon. <laughs> Oh, someone's hungry. I'll go find berries that are safe to eat. I'd hate for you to starve right after I saved your life. Because there wouldn't be much of a celebration then, would there? Oh. Ben. Tom, you're alive! Describe your location. We got a signal. We can bring you home. Really? You can? That's... Actually, I don't think I want to go home right now. What? Did you hurt the part of your brain that thinks? No, it's Roy. He saved me so he could take credit for saving me and humiliate me. What are you talking about? I can't owe my life to Roy. He's the worst. What do I do? I don't think there's much you can do, unless you saved Roy's life. Uh, that would even things out, but Roy doesn't need saving, so... Roy! 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 Uh. Ah. Down! Down! That's genius. I'm going to save Roy's life. I just need to put his life in danger first. Tom, stop! You're being ridiculous! Oh, I'm losing you! Tom! Oh, l later! Tom, go! Call him back! The signal went out! Hey, you lunatics! Let's get out of here! Looks like it's ginger time, baby. Watch out! A big rolling log! <laughs> uh, that log's not rolling, but it is big. Good find, Tom. Uh... Killer bees, run! Nah, we'll be okay. There's an acorn conveniently plugging the hive. Uh, I made you a hat so you don't get a sunburn. Already got a hat, buddy. Hey, I saw a snake nest ahead on the main path. This way looks safer. Well, I don't know. It looks unstable. It's just, I really want to avoid those snakes. Hmm. Uh, okay, Tom, okay. <laughs> oh, look out, it's a freaky accident. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. I'm coming, Roy. Your life needs saving. And I'm here to save that life. Take my hand. I'll carry you up. No, I, I'm rescuing you. I'll swing over and grab you. Stay where you are. I don't need grabbing. I'm fine. I really feel like I'm in the best position to do the saving. I really respectfully disagree. Ah! <laughs> uh -oh. 
Uh-oh, your rope is fraying somehow. Good thing Rescue Roy is here. <laughs> Watch out! It's an avalanche! Better hop over to Hero Tom! You are not saving me! Oh, you wish I wasn't, buddy. Attack! <laughs> Oh, it is good to see you. How did you find us? I was watching your video call and recognized the place you are in from a scout boys hike. You led the hike. You should have remembered. Oh, that's a little embarrassing. No, that's a little embarrassing. <laughs> it's getting late and there are still no signs of our lost ballooners. Also lost? Our home. Huh. <laughs> Attention! I rescued these bozos even though I'm just a kid! Wait, what's this? It's a miracle! Danger! 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 Way to go, Ginger! But how'd you get away from the junior race? I am so glad you're alive. We tried to save you, but got arrested. But it worked out in the end. I still wonder what caused that crash, though. Isn't it obvious? Roy sabotaged our balloon so he could save me. Wow, neat theory, Tom. Kind of like my theory that you untied the rope bridge so you could save me. The important thing is I saved you both.